I'm going to tell you a little bit about what we've done with technology for EU4, especially compared to our old game EU3. In EU3, we had over 70 tech levels, but they were all fairly generic. Uh, what we've done with technology in EU4 is that we've tried to consolidate the tech levels a bit and make them more, much more interesting. We want every level to feel that you're actually doing something for your country and going forward and really changing something. Uh, and we've also tried to make each tech level much more historically immersive or you know, give the very historical feeling to them. Uh, so while you before you invented tech level 10 uh, in military technology and that gave you plus say 0.05 firepower. Whereas now you will invent the Harkibus which you will encrypt your troops with and with the new firepower they will change how battles are fought and uh, make you win wars. Uh, or for example you could get a new diplomatic technology called coalitions, which would actually give you a completely new tool to conduct diplomacy. And another thing that has really changed is the fact that you now buy technology with monarch power. In the old tech system, well, that was almost self-contained in EU3. You, you got money that was put into the technology system and you prioritized between technologies. But now we've actually made it into a true trade-off do you forge, forge ahead in technologies and, and build that new model army? Or do you reprioritize and, and conquer big swaths of territory and integrate them into your country? Or do you recruit a great new general to lead your armies and defeat that new model army that somebody else has? Or do you develop natural ideas that will shape the future of your country? It's all, these, it's all about the choices and decisions.